escape floss tube actually here buggy stitcher or schlesum on instagram it's coming on for another weekly update um in my stitching spot on my corner of my couch you know getting all comfy hanging out um i'm gonna be stitching after this so i figured i might as well just stay right here and have a video for you guys so uh yeah i don't have a ton to show everybody today just because i've been working kind of on the same projects uh, the last few days uh, not a ton of stitching this week considering I had a ton uh, last video, but still some updates to show you guys. So first one is my Sea Goddess uh, kit that I got. Um, I I know it's so hard to see what I've done because of all the crazy colors, so I'm so sorry. But um, I got all of her face done and then I was trying to figure out if it was actually going to be enough um detail for me to keep going general consensus was to go ahead and keep going and to get some of the darker colors and get rid of some of these crazy colors to see um if the background would make her face pop more because the whole reason why i bought her is because her face is so cool looking with some like different designs and stuff so it definitely looks better further away i mean this is a kit so i have to remember you know on 11 count ada and a stamped kit it's not going to be as much detail as a heaven nurse designs pattern so i'll keep trying to remind myself that i am going to keep working on this one and keep her in rotation just so i can see what she looks like if anything um to get some of the background done so right now i got her face done and i'm just slowly working around her face and i'll just kind of probably work in circles to see if i can slowly like zoom out and get some of that that dark sea background um, but there she is. If you need the original picture, you can look um, in my previous video. Um, I need to get like pictures of all my projects printed, so that way I could just be like, "Look, this this is the one I'm working on." But until I get more ink from my printer, I won't be able to do that. But but anyway, here she is. And the next one I've been working on is my other stamped kit. Um, I think the general consensus is that everyone wants me to name her Nala. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. It's a cool name. And who doesn't love Disney? So um, new nickname for this girl is Nala. And I don't know if you guys will even be able to tell what I've done on here. But I just started, excuse me, I started filling in uh, the background, the, the blue so before I had the leaf done and so I just got like a couple blocks of the blue, finished this out. There's only like a couple more stitches here and then I finished the blue around and I'm just doing all the blue around this leaf before I kind of moved on some of, before I move on. She's not really pretty in the sun. I did start to stitch the eye. Let's see if I can find it. But then I decided to just keep going with the, so here's her eye. If you can even see it with all the stamped craziness. But then I decided, nah, I like to see as a as a like I go. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna peek on this one and do her face or anything. I'm just gonna move on because I am liking the way this is looking, even though it is silk. Um and thank you all for the suggestions. Yeah, the, the white thing is wax. It does help a little bit, but um, you know, I found some of the other things that have worked better. So um, I'm also gonna, so this is an update, but I'm also going to um, talk about some tips and tricks at the end of the video, um, but I'll keep at the end. So if people don't wanna watch that uh, video or that part of the video talking about tips and tricks with working with silk and stamped kit, then um, you can just kind of watch the update. Um, but if you do want to um, learn about what kind of like my tips and tricks of what I have learned so far working with silk then stay till the end and I'll talk about it. It will only take a couple minutes, but anyway, so I'll leave that one right there because I'm going to talk about that. Then the only other one that I've worked on is, um, is my poison garden. Um, still haven't thought of any nicknames for her yet. I might just keep her as poison garden. It's a pretty small name. I don't know, maybe poison ivy. I've got no suggestion. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still debating. But I have been working on her a little bit. You can't tell, but I have. I've gotten probably about 600 or so stitches. So last time I only had some of the flower filled in, some of this one filled in, and none of this. So I have almost completed. 
completely finished this flower. Um, I've completely finished this one and every stitch from here down to this point has been completed. So went ahead and did that and then started over here. Sorry, I thought I saw someone outside, but apparently I didn't. Um, this green is like a, the leaf, a leaf of another flower. And then right here, I got a fill in is like the leaf of this flower. But I love how having their designs, patterns, um, and artists that they choose um, have a ton of different I mean, details. I mean, most of this is black and 823, which is like a dark blue. So there's, I mean, there are a fair bit of colors in here in this picture of the flower and I just love the detail of it. Oh, she's so pretty. There's that. And I mean, that's it. I have gotten some requests to start the fairy dragon or enchantment um, that I got mini enchantment. I'm still debating. I don't know, I'm like saving her to have a new start when I really feel like I need one. At the same time, it's like, well, why not start that right now? But also, you know, I just got all those kits and everything. So it's like, do I really want to start another one right now? Yes, because I do want to start working on that one, of course. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, well, I don't really know if I want to start it yet. Um, so I might start slowly kitting it up. I've set aside like all the colors and stuff, but I haven't like put them all on the floss card and everything. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want me to start that. If I get enough suggestions to just start it anyway and have like a, that I think that would be my 10th one in rotation. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. If I know, I know mom. Hi mom. I know your vote is down below <laughs> or will be down below. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That's it for videos. Um, cross-stitch updates. Again, I only worked on these ones, um, this week. Not a ton of stitching for what I kind of normally do. It's been kind of relaxed. Well, not really relaxed. Kind of a busy week, actually. We did some yard work and some gardening. And, um, you know, my daughter has her extracurricular activities and stuff. So anyway, not too much stitching. I am going to be stitching on Treasure Hunt Bookshelf this week because I'm dying to, to stitch on that now that I have the critic. Um, I think I've only stitched like five stitches with it so far. So um, no progress to show with any button on that. But, but yeah, I think I'm going to start stitching on that this week. Um, some more Poison Garden. Um, maybe some more Lion. I want to get in this moment back out because that one's still my rotation. Yeah. Or maybe a mini enchantment. Maybe I'll start that. Get a wild hair. I think I'm going to do that one on 18 count oatmeal Ada. Um, I don't have the only 18 count that I have is the castle. And I feel like I need something kind of in between the 22, 28, but not go 14 or 11. So. 18 is going to be right in the middle. I'll probably use three strands, 10 stitch, just like I'm doing my castle. I'm in love with 10 stitch. It goes so fast. And anytime I try and do full cross, I end up accidentally doing 10 anyway. So it's like, well, I've been doing it so much. I might as well just, I might as well just continue with the 10 stitch. Plus it goes so fast. It's like, now I'm so impatient to do the full cross, even though I know it turns out beautifully, you know, with all the detail, but it's like, oh man, the 10 stitch just goes so quickly. It's so appealing. So if you haven't tried that, please do yourself a favor and try 10 stitch because it is so, so fast, especially when you have a million different projects. But anyway, um, so if you if you're leaving now, then bye. Thanks, thanks for watching. Um, and stay with me right now if you want to learn about the tips and tricks of working with silk. So silk knots extremely easily. So a couple things that I have kind of learned along the way is to use a sharp needle. So most cross stitchers um, and people who talk about cross stitch say to use a blunt needle. So that way you don't separate the uh, fabric or pierce like in between the holes or anything. I actually found that um, using the sharp needle has actually helped 
with the tangles. So um, I don't know if it's just me and how I stitch or not, but I cannot stitch with a blunt needle with this 11 count fabric and the, and the silk. It just keeps tangling. I also shorten, I shortened the length of my um, threads. So let me grab the colors real quick. So the kit comes with these extremely long threads, way too long to actually stitch with. Um, and it calls for three strands. So I attempted to cut one of the colors to length. Um, but in doing so I had to put, so here's the color right here. In doing that, there was like more than one skein on this one little teardrop. So I actually had to put the rest of it over here because there wasn't enough room to have everything separated. So I separated it out, but I won't be doing that again. So what I do for this is instead of pulling out three threads, um, I found that if I just pull out, I'll just pull out one for you. Pull out one thread. And I found the perfect length for the silk is to take this one extremely long thread and my kit's 11 count so I need three strands. Um, I take it, grab it right here, grab the other end and I fold it in threes. So I know I have the right length when I mean the, the ends align or close to. So I don't know if you can see that. But basically see how they're together? Then what I do is I cut here and I cut here and that's my three strand, uh, strands and it's the length of my elbow, finger to elbow. That seems to be a really good length that stops the tangling. Um, I haven't, I started using the wax but then I stopped because I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I don't want to take an extra step. But um, this length has been helping Normally with cotton, I actually go a little bit, I go to my armpit, I go uh, finger to armpit for my cotton length for stitching, um, but that's doing that length with the silk. It, there's too much to like pull, so um, pull through and it gets tangled. So let's cut this up and I'll show you the last trick that I have learned. As soon as I find my scissors. And I can't find my scissors. Alright, hold on. Story of everyone's life. You can't find something when you need it. One sec. And of course, they were like right underneath my bag. Right in front of my face. Okay, anyway, so you grab here and cut. Grab the other side and cut. So here is my three strands. I'm going to put it on my needle like so. Here is my length. So actual sti stitching length is actually smaller than my elbow after I put it on the needle. So it's like there. Um, next up is I actually make sure that my ends are even because of how I um, start my threads. I'll show you that in just a second. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you guys, but here we go. So because this is 11 count and it's fairly thick, it is loosening up now that I've been stitching on it for a while, but this tangles so quickly that putting it in any sort of cue snap or um, hoop or anything just causes more chaos. So I've actually been stitching this in hand. So what I do, I'll turn it and then to show you, and then I'll turn it around so I can actually stitch in front of you. But I roll it up, get to where I need to be. This is too long for me to get my, my arm around, so then I roll this part up. And not only does this help me, you know, be able to fit where I'm stitching, like I can reach around and everything, but it helps loosen this up because I'm like, I'm messing with it. Natural wills of your hands or whatever. So I kind of roll it up and get to where I'm gonna be stitching. So first of all, let me figure out, grab number four. I should see where I should be stitching, huh? So the circle. So I roll it up out of the way. 
So now I'm basically, I'm stitching like this. So I have a small space to reach around. So it's almost like a small hoop. I did attempt to start doing the sewing method um, of stitching, but I don't know. I found it easier on my poor little fingers to just, to just do this. So um, let me start the thread and then I'll show you what I have been doing. I start my threads by going through the top instead of the bottom. So I start bottom left, I go to top right, then I go back down in bottom left. And when I do that, it actually pulls the threads that are poking through the top back through um, and locks it in place. And then I finish that. That's what I do no matter how many strands I'm using, it doesn't matter. See, now it's like, it's blocked. So what I found, I'll try and show you this way um, and then I'll turn it around and see if I can show you that way. But what I do is when I pull up the thread, I grab it with my finger and kind of keep it out of the way. And I keep it there like, towards the left, I guess, left top. And while I'm holding it, it actually keeps those threads away from each other um, to stop tangling. So let me pause rearrange the camera so I can show you a little bit better and hopefully that will make a little bit more sense. Okay, so see my needle right here. I know it's a little hard to see, but you pull it up and then I grab it with my finger, hold it out of the way, and then I go back down. And I'm holding this thread lightly, so when I pull it back through, those threads, these threads right here that I'm holding stay out of the way of the threads that are going down and stop it from grabbing itself and like tangling. So I'll show you one more time and get the stitch started. So I pull it, pull it out of the way and then I go back down. Let's see if I find where my needle is. I pull it back down and then I let go. And that actually, like I said, stops the tangles. So I better finish the stitch. Okay. Anyway, so that's what I have learned so far. Just a couple of tips and tricks of what I have learned using silk. If anyone else has any other tips, just leave them in the comments below for other people to see. Um, I haven't really been able to find a ton of videos on stitching with silk. It's definitely super soft. And that, I mean, it's beautiful. And it's so shiny um, to look at. So like being framed and put on the wall and stuff is going to be super exciting. Um, and I, I mean, it's definitely worth getting the silk. It's just, you have to remember they have to stitch it differently than cotton. You can't just like and, and go crazy because it just catches on everything. Or like if you have chopped, chopped skin, um, it, it catches like on your finger and will tangle. So um, making sure that you don't have, see I have, I don't know if you can see, but I have like these chopped like on the sides and stuff. So, um, or like I get ripped nails right here all the time. So, um, yeah, my nails and my cuticles and stuff catch on the silk. Oh, well, <laughs> I just ordered some nail stuff so I can get my nails done because I can't really go out and do your nails because one, I don't have the time or or anything to do that. And second of all, I don't want to spend the money on it. And third, welcome 2020 and 2021 where I can't go out and go do things. But anyway, so there's that. Those are my tips and tricks. Um, yeah, you should, you should definitely try out a silk. Only have one though, unless you really like it. But cotton is definitely a little bit stronger, I feel like, and easier to work with. So Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining. Take care. Um, hopefully it's sunny where you are. I know spring's coming. Thank goodness. But anyway, take care. Bye, guys.